extreme weather. Well, at least we turned off that blistering north Very wind good. for the day. Very yeah. good. Yes. Little sunshine going in the right direction, and the temperatures will start following suit over the next few days as well. But right now outdoors, it is cool still. Here is a look at Fargo's numbers for the evening right now, 23 degrees. So we haven't cooled off a lot. We do have more clouds building in it, and it's actually that blanket of cloud cover that's helping to keep us from cooling off so fast. Typically, when we have dew points in the single digits to around 10 degrees, we definitely see that dry air cool more fast than humid air does. Here is a look at what's going on in Grand Forks. A quiet night there as well. 22 degrees on the thermometer. And we have a 15 degree dew point with a south wind now. It's under 10 miles per hour. Things up in northwest Minnesota, Roseau County, all the way down through Beltrami County, seeing temperatures on the cool side. It's 1 in Roseau while it is 11 in the Bemidji area. Temperatures in these places have started to lurch upward a degree or two over the last hour. That's a good sign. We have 19 for Wapton, Breckenridge, and for Sisseton Oaks at 21, while Jamestown, you have 27 degrees. Langdon, a cool 16 right now. A little curved shape echo here on the radar, showing some light snow working into Polk County out of Grand Forks County, as well as the FM area, although a step outside yielded no flakes, so not much falling from the skies. But we are seeing some darker returns as this moves along Highway 2 towards Fisher and the Crookston area. Do not be surprised to see an isolated flurry of snow this evening from this activity. Here's that cloud cover, and those clouds help to radiate warmth and blanket in the heat of the day, and that explains why we're starting to see temperatures up a notch or two in northwest Minnesota. So these clouds will actually help keep us from getting too cold too quickly where it's clear a lot of rapid cooling in the early overnight. The main weather event tonight is on the eastern half of the United States from the Great Lakes southward, a trailing cold front causing severe storms down in the uh, southeast United States. Temperatures rising a bit as we head towards daybreak with the cloud cover pretty much staying put. Can't rule out an isolated flurry as these clouds drift from west to east across the region. Start your day temperatures between 5 above and about 15 above region-wide with the mildest weather down to the south and where there's snow-free ground. Now as we head into the morning hours, we remain cloudy and by midday we'll see temperatures rising through the 20s in most locations with the exception of our international border counties. Hit and miss flakes of snow developing in the afternoon, but the real event uh, develops out in the western Dakotas tomorrow afternoon and will be sliding into our region as we go into the evening hours. So for your drive time home and beyond into the late evening, snow will be pressing basically from the Minot area through the James and Cheyenne River Valleys and into southeast North Dakota. Yes, Fargo may see some light flakes, but it'll be very light here with increased amounts to between one and an isolated report or two of two inches of snow will be possible as we cross the I-29 corridor. Fargo's planner, temperatures rising from the teens to the mid-30s, that chance of snow coming later in our evening hours after we get home from work. That's a good thing. 20s for peak afternoon temperatures up along the international border. A few teens possible up near the Bedette area. Otherwise, 35 to possibly near 40 degrees in southeast North Dakota with a chance of some flakes of snow. Beautiful photo here by Hillary. Thanks. This is a Moorhead blue sky. Absolutely beautiful before sunrise. Looks like another, well, above average day, but not hot. 32 degrees. We'll take a quiet one. As warmer air pushes in, we hit 39, but a wintry mix will work its way through. I'm expecting Fargo to see some mixed precipitation with snow that could accumulate for our northwest Minnesota counties. And then, as some folks say, the heat is on. 53 by Sunday and near 60 with a thunderstorm possible on Tuesday. So boots first and then our sandals yep. and then, and then maybe spring back to boots. Spring is sprung and a little bit of sunglasses and whatever else. Yes. Shorts. You get the picture. You heard <laughs> it <you>. here. <laughs> All right. The Zika virus continues to be a growing problem. Find out the best way to keep you and your family safe. And a local woman makes an appearance on the Wheel of Fortune tonight. And she won some money.